It's Wednesday Night Basketball. A Duke Blue Devil who went on to become an NBA star. Carlos Boozer and the Chicago Bulls go up against the Oklahoma City Thunder. And their star in the making at point guard, Russell Westbrook. Thanks for joining us as we bring you this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. Along with Doris Burke and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. Only one game away from Chicago. Here's the Bulls. We're back home for the next one. This is the first time that these two teams have faced each other this season. And, of course, the Chicago Bulls. Surprisingly, Clark, they each won on the road. Home court not providing much of an advantage here. Now let's take a look at the Bulls' opening lineup. Derrick Rose and Ronnie Brewer in the backcourt. Carlos Boozer and Joaquin Noah. They're inside. And dang. And for the Thunder... Durant and Green in the forward positions. Westbrook and Harden in the backcourt. And Aldrich. The Thunder were a decent team against Western Conference opponents, but they really had success against the East. Yeah, they took advantage of being able to outscore and really outplay from an effort standpoint a lot of teams in the Eastern Conference. I'll go to Doris Burke, who spoke with Tom Thibodeau. Doris? Well, Kevin, Coach told me that they're facing a team that may be the best in the league at forcing opponents into defensive mistakes. He said, listen, we need to be one step ahead of them at our own end, because if you sit back, they have the ability to carve up a defense and make you look foolish. Guys, they don't want to see that today. Thank you, Doris. And keeping a lid on their opponent's shooting percentage, Clark, early a focal point here. Team defense, Kevin. That's how you get it done. And talk about the thunder in the East. I'm sure the Eastern teams are happy. They only have to see <laughs> Kevin Durant twice. Yeah, but if I'm a fan... And he slams it home. Here's the replay on the Sprite Slam Cam. That's exactly the way you practice it. Hit the open man for the great look. Here's Westbrook. Carlos Boozer, Clark, 6'9", about 260, 270 out of Duke. A big body, and he knows how to throw his weight around inside. Yeah, you know what, Kevin? He's been a dominant rebounder and scorer inside for the better part of a decade now. Fifth in rebounding last season at over 11 a game. Over 56% shooting from the field, which was sixth best. He's simply a beast. And it's off. Here's Westbrook. Down low. Connects. Russell Westbrook. Here's Rose. He's covered by Westbrook. Rose kicks it to Noah. What? But going back to Boozer, he's never been a terrific defender. Well, that's been a knock on him. He doesn't have great length or quickness. He is strong and sometimes maybe not quite as focused at that end of the floor considering how much work he has to do at the other end. Rose against Durant. Pass to Boozer. Outside Rose. And Boozer backs in. Four on the shot clock. Puts it up. Harden pulls it in off the glass. That's not something you'll see very often. Got the mid-range jumper he wanted, but off target. Here's Westbrook. Westbrook missing again. He hasn't been able to get on track here. Now Rose. Fades away. Bruiser missing again. With that, they find themselves missing on four of their first five shot attempts. That's not a good start. Actually, it's a bad start for them. Rose against Durant. Nails it from the top of the key. Durant's got his first basket of the night. He's just so gifted offensively. He's a tough guy to match up with. Dang against Durant. Dang can't get it to go. The Thunder with the lead. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. Here's the 2K leaderboard with last season's best free throw shooting teams. You take a look at the Thunder. Right there at the two spot. So good. You know, it's interesting when you look at this team, Kevin. I mean, they found a way to get their whole team to knock down free throws at a consistent level. 
I mean, a team that can't make free throws, that's a huge liability and one you don't want to deal with. They'd like to repeat their success at the line this year. And it's the Thunder with the ball. Westbrook up top. He's covered by Rhodes. Here's Green. No good from three-point land. You know, nine out of ten times, he's making you pay on a wide-open look like that. I guess that was number ten, though. Green against Dang. Boozer against Harden. And the dunk by Boozer. Uh-oh. A little bit of a statement made there while he hung on the rim. That's one way to make sure the whole building knows exactly what you just did. Oh! Does he make it look easy or what, partner? Trust me, that's not easy. Oh, I know it. I think he could climb over the backboard if he wanted to. Puts the hammer down. I did not see that coming. He's one of the last guys you'd expect to flush it. Let's be nice here, Clark. He looked pretty darn good on that one. I'll agree. Rose against Westbrook. Carlos Boozer pulls it in. Nothing's working for him here. He's just really struggling to find the basket. Brewer's shot is off. Well, the defense put pressure on him, and frankly, he'll miss some of those even when he's wide open. Green inside. He's covered by Dan. Smart D forced him into taking that mid-range jump shot, and as you might expect, he wasn't able to knock it down. Oklahoma City trailer. Harden with it. Looking for his first bucket of the game. Outside Durant for three. The shot is off. No, sir. It ain't that easy, son. Especially with a top-notch defender breathing right down your neck. Rose against Westbrook. Rose kicks it to Noah. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Noah's got his second basket of the night. Rose against Westbrook. Harden can't hit. There wasn't enough defensive pressure to affect him that close to the rim. I think he just flat out missed it. From the corner, Brewer's shot is off. The defense couldn't close out on the mid-range J, and the shooter made him pay. Noah against Westbrook. Here's Aldridge. And there's the whistle, fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. They get Lou all day. 17 wins on the road with 24 losses for the Bulls this past season. Yeah, and that's inverse of the home record, and they finished at 41-41 and 41 for two straight years, Kevin. That's about as middle of the pack as you can get. Keith Bogan, he's checked in for Chicago. That one misses. The Bulls leading by four. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. Here's Oklahoma City. They trail by six. Westbrook against Rose. The shot's good from Westbrook. And Clark, our stat guy, follows up on what you just said, saying that they had inverse records for home and away in 2009 as well, if you'd believe that. Huh? I mean... Yeah, that's what he told me. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm just reading what he All right, no kidding. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll take your word for it, but um, we'll see if they can break that trend this time around to get off of that 500 overall record and flip the script on the inverse home and road record. Well, How about that? Well said. All I right. understood it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so did I. The Thunder making a switch here. Here's Maynard. He's covered by Rhodes. Maynard, no good. An outstanding pick there, and he still couldn't get the basket. Next time he gets a look that good, he's got to make it count. Here's Maynard. Right around five minutes left in the first. He's covered by Rhodes. Let's go with a three. Green, no luck. 
There's another example, Kevin, of how they're hustling to all the missed shots to get an edge in the rebounding area. Rose passes to that. He dumps it off. Durant against Rose. Here's Boozer. Can't extend the lead to double digits. Thunder trailing by nine. It's Durant on the wing. He's covered by Rose. And almost gets it to go, so he'll shoot two here. It's one of the stories that many people don't know about Kevin Durant. He wears the number 35 to commemorate his beloved friend, coach, and mentor, Charles Craig, whose life was tragically taken too soon at age 35. Durant hits them both. Here's Rose. Chicago with the ball. Oh! Good execution on the break leads to the nice bucket. Here's Maynard. They trail by nine points. From 11 feet away, kept alive, Aldrich buries the short-range shot. Snares the offensive rebound, then sends it home. The Bulls leading by seven. Rose dishes to Boozer, and it's Aldrich picking him up. Boozer missing again. It's not been a day to remember, but if they get the win, I'm sure... Oh! Oh, man! Oh, man. Boy, they're getting vertical on this, Kevin. Look out below. Now that's a couple of guys on the same page. Working together. Let's go to our great sideline reporter, Doris Burke, for an update. Doris? Kevin, Russell Westbrook in just his third season in the league, but this guy won't back down from anyone, and that in itself makes him a leader. Just as Kevin Durant, he said, he's the leader. If you watch us play in games or in practices, he's the one who keeps us together. Just one more reason the Thunder's so happy to have him. Guys, back to you. That's pretty impressive, Doris. Thanks. What a shot! Took the hit and was still able to maintain control to get it down. So for the Bulls, Kurt Thomas, he's checked in for Noah. Brewer comes in for Keith Bogut. And it's Watson in for Derrick Rose. And he makes the free throw. You know, for these Bulls last season, Clark, they had some drama in the locker room. Maybe people not seeing eye to eye in the front office and on the coaching staff. Yeah, they certainly did. I would call it front office friction. Yeah. <laughs> but yet, despite that, Kevin, good young talent. So whoever steps into that situation has something to work with. Thunder trailing by four. Green inside. He's covered by Dan. Kicked it to the right guy at the right time. That's a good pass. Here is Watson. 2.45 left in the first quarter. Outside Boozer. Looking to end his cold spell. Another miss by Boozer. The thrill is gone and so is his offense. He's not making anything. Durant against Dang. For three. And it's Durant missing. We've seen them with a lot of good ball movement. That's exactly the way to play. The fans love it. It's fun for the players. I love it. And more importantly, it's tough to defend. Good job of leading his man right to the rim for the bucket. Sank the basket and gets a trip to the line for one more. Well, he did an excellent job there to finish through contact. He felt the foul, but didn't let it distract him. A different look for Oklahoma City. Kristich is checked in, and Tabo Cephalosha subbed in for Kevin Durant. And he's unable to convert here on the three-point play. A bit of a step backwards for Jeff Green last season when a lot of people thought, you know, he was going to be one of the breakout players. Well, he saw his rebound totals and point totals drop, Kevin. But again, I'm not so quick to say when a guy's numbers slide that he hasn't improved. Learning the NBA game takes a few years, and I think Green is right on pace. Here's Maynard. And it's no good. Poor shot selection there, to say the least. 
Back to Dan. Outside Thomas. Watson with it. The rebound by Jeff Green. Shocking how wide open he was. Even more shocking that he couldn't sink it. The three from Harden. Cannot hit. So the Bulls will take it the other way. 107 left in the first. Here's Watson. And he's able to score the bucket. Foul called by the official. So one free throw for him right here. He can't complete the three-point play. What's really hurt him, Kevin, is the missed free throws. you got to cash in on those free throws. Mm -hmm. Rips it down with both hands. Here is Watson. Gets rid of it. Here's Boozer. Doesn't get enough under it. Thunder trailing by four. Christich backs him down. And it's going to be a three-second call. Here on the 2K leaderboard are the rebounding leaders from a season ago. Take a look at Boozer. A terrific rebound. Fifth overall. You know, he was actually a monster on the glass. We talked about him throughout the season. And though he didn't lead the league, he was a big factor in a number of important games. Catching up on the changes for Chicago. Joakim Noah, he's checked in for Thomas. Gibson comes in for Carlos Boozer. And it's Corver in for Luol Dan. Gibson is called for a loose ball foul. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. And here is Green. He has six. Baseline jumper. Cephalosha misses. Now Brewer. They lead by four. Here is Watson. Over Harden. Kept alive. Tries again. And no good. But close on that one, so he'll shoot two. Tough interior defense means not allowing easy baskets. Good foul. And that one misses. No good at the strike this time. The second misses also. First quarter over, and big numbers up on the board. Bulls lead by four. They're making the extra pass and finding guys for open look. I love the discipline they've shown in their offense so far. And we'll return momentarily.